This is a 2018 Mercedes-Benz E400 Coupe. And this car is important because Mercedes has stuffed it full of sci-fi technology. And coming up right now, I'm gonna give you and show you the top five cool features that might just be in the car that you'll be driving soon. Have you ever seen or heard a car accident? They are loud, metal against metal, airbags going off. These are violent events. And to protect your ears from all that harsh noise, Mercedes has given this car a really cool tech called pre-safe sound. What does that do? Well, basically it creates, well, you know what? Let me have Mercedes explain. Some German engineer came up with that idea. Just picture this, um, typically, if there's an accident happening, there's a lot of noise inside the car. Goes Airbags goes off, the maybe sheet metal hits each yeah. other or so. So, and that can or will damage your hearing because it's such a loud impact. Uh, but there is something which our car has standard and that is called pre-safe sound. And what it does is it emits, the car knows there's an immediate crash pending. So short before the crash, it emits a pink noise or white noise inside the car and that triggers the stupidious muscle in your ear. So it closes. It closes, uh, it kind of contracts, yeah. the muscle contracts the ear and it protects your hearing. So up to 40% compared to if you wouldn't do it. So why is pre-safe sound important and why might it be in a car that you'll be driving soon? The reason is quite simple. Currently about 40,000 people die on US roads each year. And any safety tech that can actually mitigate that is very welcome safety tech. And governments are looking at safety features just like this to keep you safe on the road. The number four bit of sci-fi tech that this car has that might be in your car very soon is called car to x communication. And basically what it allows this car to do is to communicate with other E-Class cars that are in your vicinity. So for instance, say you're driving down the road and you hit a bit of black ice and the car's ABS activates. That's important data that other drivers might want to know about. And with this car, other drivers will know about it because it will communicate with other E-Classes and tell them about that icy spot. Why is this important? Because it opens up the bold new world of self-driving or autonomous cars. Because if cars can talk to each other, we're one step close to the cars driving themselves. This Mercedes has all sorts of sensors, including a camera that continually scan the road ahead of you looking for trouble. And for instance, if a car stops short or a pedestrian walks in front of you, it will hit the brakes. But what the camera is also looking for are speed limit signs. It's called active speed limit assist. And if it finds a speed limit and you happen to be exceeding that speed limit, it will display the correct speed limit by flashing it on this 12.3 inch display. So why is that important? Well, you know where this is going because when autonomous cars do really come to our open roads, speeding like the Dodo, like Fuzzbusters will be dead. And if you want to actually drive fast, you're gonna to have to do it at a racetrack. You guys know what Roy G. Biv stands for? I learned it in high school. It's the colors of the rainbow. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And while many cars allow you to change the interior or the ambient lighting of the car from say red to blue to maybe white, not Mercedes, there are 64 choices making this car almost as personalizable as the rainbow. So why is that important? Well, once upon a time in the US at least, there were basically four Mercedes models that you can get. There was a C-Class, an E-Class, an S-Class, and an SL-Class. Today, well, there are more distinct models than I can count on both my hands and toes. And what it means is that cars are becoming much more personalized. In fact, there are four models of just the E-Class. There's the sedan, there's the coupe, there's the wagon, and there's the upcoming convertible. It means that manufacturers are building a lot more cars because you guys are asking for very specific models. Mm -hmm. 
And number one on my list is called Active Lane Change Assist. And basically what that is, is if you're on the highway and you wanna change lanes and there's no one in your blind spot, all you do is hold down the left turn signal if you wanna go left and after a few seconds, the car will actually change lanes for you. You don't have to steer, you don't have to think, all you have to do is signal and the car does it. So why is this important? Well, you've probably figured out the theme of this video by now. Once upon a time, you used to have to shift, brake and steer a car on your own. Not anymore, we're heading into the brave new world of sci-fi cars, and this Mercedes is leading the way. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. Check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and of course, real world reviews. Oh yeah, and if you're curious, this E-Class Coupe starts at about $60,000, but if you get one like this with all the high-tech and formatic, it's knocking on the door of $90,000. And yes, it will be available soon at your local Mercedes-Benz dealership. See you guys next time. I've got a car that I don't have to drive. <laughs>